Hey, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Pattersons, I like the Pattersons. Where was it? See, this right here down here is the Mount Haven point thing. Mount Haven section of the Bronx. Anyway, this is the, the Mount Haven section of the Bronx is down here someplace. Point somebody. Is it here, Mount Haven. Is it right there? Yeah. In other words, the real South Bronx. <laughs> I got, I'm, I'm passing through. I was just in St. Louis, you know, with, with my friend, my best friend there. Now I'm at my brother's house here in, uh, in Harlem, you know, that's by. Because, you know, he's, he's like a black nationalist, you know what I mean? I should say, no, no, he's a Pan-Africanist. What am I talking about? You know, Pan, I should show you this. I don't think you'd see it right there. Hold on a second, if I can. So I hope it comes through. So you much have Is that the Aztec Conference, you know, the fourth annual, annual Comedic Studies Conference, July 8th through 10th, 1987? Is it? hope that came through. You know, if it didn't. Well, what can I say? But here's a, a hat my my wife made, my ADL West hat, you know. I call it ADL West Reality. Red, black, green. It's, it's, it's like a nationalist ADL West. I just go together, whatever have you. But see, here's what I like. I got these butts. This is my Fanny Lou Hamer butt. Like that. So, I'm going to wear this now. I suppose, it look, I suppose it look good in red because... I have to try to do this one here. See how I do that? I suppose it's a good red one because, you know, I got that little bit of mohawk in me. Some of the, hey, my, my skin's got these colors, like the golds, the ding, 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 so a lot of the different colors I can go with. But look, the reason why I like, I'm sorry, it's a little wrinkled because it was in, it was like in a bag in storage here and I wanted to re wear it for this. I know I should just iron it. Look, don't give me no grief, you know what I mean? I know it's supposed to look good for the thing, otherwise, you know, everybody be, but I understand. And I understand my grandmother would, would be like, "Why were you going like that? And my wife would never let me out the house like that. But I'm traveling, you know, my, my sainted grandmother. Mm. My wife is stuck in South Africa. I'm stuck here. So what can I tell you? I'm not representing them. But I'm representing the Bronx. The Bronx be rough anyway. But here's what I like. I realized something about this, this, uh, this sweatshirt they got from the street vendor. I'm going to see if their brother's still around in Harlem, since I'm coming through only here a couple of days. But think about this. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I'll let you think about that. Good sweatshirt. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, which is what I wanted to talk to y'all about. You know, oh, look, I was just passing through, uh, I think uh, yesterday, so we're, we're in Kwanzaa right now. Now, and uh, you know, yesterday was... Uh, um, Ujima, yeah, yesterday was this principle of, uh, of uh, here, right here, principle of, well, you know, uh, like Kamala Harris, I like to, I like Kuji Chagalia too, you know, Kuji Chagalia is where you have, um, um, what's this, uh, self determination, you know, but I just like it because. You know, Kuchi Chagalia is just a cool word to say. <laughs> Can I tell you? But uh, yesterday we had uh, uh, Ujama was was the thing, and that and that Ujama is like the uh, cooperative economics. So my contribution to that day in the in the celebration of Kwanzaa Pantheon is to um, they have the health food store down here. One of those serve healthy food. Let's put that vegetarian store, whatever have you. So I bought some uh, some sea moss. You're supposed to buy black in those things, okay? So I bought some sea moss. Finish it now. But today is Nia. Again, Nia is one. It's just I just like Nia. But let me. Uh, in fact, let me. This is my, uh, my reading glasses. Let me take these off. I can do something like this here, because it's a cool thing about the modern world. You know, you can, you know, put things up. So Eugene Rebin, I put this her series of things out. Uh, on, on, on Kwanzaa, because, you know, she's having the Kwanzaa, because, you know, that whole generation, you know. Anyway, uh, so he did these, uh, did this, uh, um, some writers, you know, people in his circle, they did the, they did the, basically the seven principles, right? So they won, uh, one, one, uh, two was the, 
you know, yesterday was uh, uh, three of us, Ujama, Ujima, uh, I think, yeah, Ujama was the thing. Uh, today is, um, today is near, right? It's the fifth day, fifth principle. And uh, he had uh, people write these haikus, you know, because he's, he's Eugene Reppin's this club, but also he had other people write haikus. So Nia, let's read what it says here. It says, uh, love's grand wheel turns, spins itself into love and joy, and conscience with Nia. That's a haiku that was, uh, oh, something lost some light here. Ah, uh, that's right, okay. Um, uh, so that's a haiku for Nia Purpose. It's written by, uh, this haiku is written by uh, Sherman. L. Fowler, you know, the poet. Okay. Uh, anyway, it says, it says, purpose to make as our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Okay. These are all, you know, you know poets are and, and, you know, black nationalists and stuff like that, all grand purposes. Me, I'm going like, hey, what can we, what can we get done? Anyway, so I thought I'd share that with you. So today is a day of, uh, Basically, purpose, man. Yeah, man. Know your purpose. You know, collective building and development of purpose. Um, so, okay. So, what was I going to say? Oh, so, what's really interesting where my little uh, existence is going, you know, I have certain stuff here. Not a lot of stuff here. Uh, you know, and then, of course, I have stuff in my sister's house. So, basically, I can travel without... You know, without a whole bunch of luggage, like one, almost one bag, you know, and that's what I'm aiming for. So when I come through these spaces, I, can, I don't have to have shoes. I can just be have one pair of shoes. I get there from the shoes. You see what I'm saying? So I could be like, um, James also told me about, uh, who's that? Um, Cornell West. Cornell West, like me, wears layers, right? And he doesn't really make have a, might have a, you know, a weather bag and he just shows up. Does this thing and going. Not a whole lot of luggage like that. It reminds, think of like Jack Reacher. You know, he only has a, um, what a change of underwear and a toothbrush. That's how I really want to roll. You know what I mean? I just have one bag. I have a really good bag here. Oh, this one here. Yeah, really, I just want to roll. You know, when I get stuff, I just want to roll with just one, one bag. That's it. You know, books and that's it. So, um, uh, so I want to I want to run that off with y'all, just to let you know things are going swimmingly. Um, hope things are going swimming with you. Now we're coming to the end of the year. This tradition thing you say all kinds of stuff, and so I had a lot of revelations this this year, and I want to put them all into practice. Our life is quite interesting, you know, and I'm sort of dedicating this. I've got to get something done. I'm going to work hard. I'm trying to get this thing done by the summer. Because actually, I'm first I got to got to get back to South Africa because I get a good stuff done this this month. So hopefully in February somehow I can get there. But you know this whole pandemic now they got a, they claim they got a new strain that's coming through that's more virulent. So it's one of those big words that that that's more you know that mess with you more than other one things. So they want I won't say they the amorphous they right. Uh, but like I said, the only thing you can do. Sea moss, you know, um, uh, black elderberry, all kinds of supplements. You gotta, you gotta boost your own system because whatever they're gonna give you to try to, uh, how you say, control this pandemic. I'm sorry. Here's one thing I really learned this year. We come to the end of the year, have to say these things. Here's where we're, and I gotta get. I don't know how I can get anybody to do this. You can only do it for yourself. Stop listening to the white man who benefits from the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. Stop listening to that entity. Don't get me wrong, there are white people, white people that do something very good. But most people, you know, they want to take advantage of this pandemic, this white thing, it's terrible. So when we talk about somebody like uh, the, 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 the head of this and whoever, the, whatever those, those alphabet agency, don't listen to them. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I say, but brother, we're going to die. I understand. I can't speak for you or me. I have no fear of nothing, <laughs> least of all death. <laughs> but not only that, one of the things about flus and, and this whole whole thing, someone was listening to, um, I think uh, somebody from the B1 Brigade, 
I guess it was Black Authority, some had a guest on. And he was saying, like, you know, hey, and I, I, I totally agree with this, you know, that, uh, unless you're over 80, 85, you know what I mean, then you should be in good shape anyway. Get yourself in good shape, okay? So, like, right now, um, uh, uh, Loretta Dumas sequestered in New Jersey. That's all I, I care about. You know what I mean? She, she's she's over 85, so nobody's, you know, she's quarantining. So, and, you know, I've got a really good, uh, a good mask that I had bought last year. And I just started wearing it when I came back here. Where's my mask? Yeah. Someplace around here. Anyway, um, it's really good. I like it. Um, but the mask is not the thing. Again, man. These people, the, the uh, I just got this other report. Maybe I could uh, put in uh, somebody, Nomi Konskis, whatever her name is, who I don't like. You know, but she had an interview with this reporter, this whole thing on um, on the Gates Foundation and how they just control stuff. So when you try to get information, you know, from these things, it ain't working. This is why you have to do your own research. I said, well, go to NIH. No, but those any any agency is controlled by the system of Anglo racist white supremacy, and this is why you don't just listen to white men reporting on stuff, especially white men. Oh, when I say I should say this, academia, all these other officials that 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 in this system, right? You, I don't have, you just got to do your own research. Somehow dig, 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 dig. Go around and do your research. Say, where does this come from? That whole kind of thing. Right? My thing, man, I don't know how to explain it to you, but I feel very secure in uh, what, what, what happens. I want you to be secure, too. So anyway, I just wanted to come to you and tell you I'm safe and sound here. Uh, I leave, uh, where is it? I guess it is, whatever it is day. I leave to... I leave tomorrow, I leave tomorrow in time to make a New Year's in uh, in Virginia. But I want you all to be, keep on being strong, safe, happy. This is, I'm, I'm just giving you this New Year's wish. Let me be the first to wish you a new year that gives you some strength. That's what you need, strength, health. You know, you got to work on your own health. And uh, just continue your own wisdom kind of path. Okay? There you go. Isn't that simple? All right. Take care.